Hi everyone, this is Josh Krieger, co-host of Edge of NFT, here live at Token 2049 with Lucas Lee of Affin. Lucas, great to have you here. Thank you for inviting me. It's okay. my pleasure. Um, for those of you at home that don't know Lucas, he's the founder and CEO of Affin, and this is an incredible project that's reinventing the gaming model with a sustainable play and earn economy, and Lucas has secured over $20 million in funding to build a great game. Um, as a seasoned leader within more than 10 years of experience in the lifestyle brand space, he's certainly no stranger to leading international teams to growth and success, uh, including helping to launch a startup that was acquired by a NASDAQ listed firm. He was also in the core leadership team that helped a US based company launch and penetrate the Asian market, where it went from 91 million to 926 million uh, in annual revenue within four years. Not shabby at all. And since 2016, Lucas has been exposed to blockchain and cryptocurrency, has been actively involved in the space. Wow, that's yeah. quite a bio, Lucas. Thank you. Um, would love to sort of kick things off. Just give us an overview of Affin, man, <clears throat> and, and how this play and earn metaverse um, you know, is being built with a sustainable economy. Uh, clearly, we've learned some things over the last year that you're building into the product. Yep, yep. So, uh, yeah, thanks for having me here today, right? Um, so, to give you a really um, insight of what Affin is and how it came about. So, almost more than a year ago, I wanted to create, um, you know, something that could really bring people together, you know. Um, and the whole idea of Affin, Affin is short for affinity, right? We want to create something where people can have fun together, play with their friends, and really interact with their friends and family, right? So, that's why the whole concept of how Affin actually came about. So we, all ages. All ages across all demographics. So one of the thing that was that inspired me was really Pokemon Go. Right? Mm -hmm. Pokemon Go wasn't just targeted at gamers. It was targeted across all demographics. There wasn't like right. a single human I know that didn't download it and try <laughs> that game. Yeah, and, and more importantly, people were not sitting behind a desk playing it. Right, they were really going out there to parks, going out there to talk about where they should go together, together today, right? So integrating the real world aspect of it into the virtual world. So uh, I was inspired with that, um, but I was thinking to myself, what if there was a way where people can play and earn with their friends and family while you know, doing, having fun together, right? So imagine the fun and entertainment combining with an earning aspect of it. Right, so uh, I started conceptualizing this whole idea for more than one year, and and finally with a very clear blueprint of how we actually create a sustainable game economy. Because the economy to create a sustainable game economy was the biggest challenge and biggest hurdle we we faced, and this was before all the metaverse, all the play and earn hype even came about. We didn't even knew X Infinity existed back then. You know, so um, so we had a very strong head start because we have been trying to overcome this hurdle for one over year. So finally, um, last year in September, uh, we went into our fundraising campaign, uh, and we within a short four month period, we actually raised almost more than twenty million US dollars in funding. So to really execute this game, um, and today we have close to forty full time staff in the company working from, from really dynamic, they, were, they are very experienced professionals from their various industries, working on executing, making this vision into a reality. I'm just like envisioning since your whole thing is about fun, you have yeah. like a pretty fun office, um, maybe some good <laughs> snacks, uh, yeah. maybe some games around there. Yeah. So, so one of the things that uh, our community were very impressed with was our office. Right. Uh, okay. we, yeah. I, I, I knew this guy has a great office. <laughs> yeah, so we, we wanted to create uh, we want to create an office where uh, we have this we have this uh, vision where we want to make it such that when you are stressed at home, okay? Especially come, like during to work. these uh, <laughs> tough times with you know COVID and everything, yep. like you know, you gotta be creative, you gotta be innovative. Yeah, so it's very nature like, it's very innovate, uh, it's very open concept and very interactive uh, office space. I wish I can show you uh, a video and image of it. <laughs> I oh, I'd love to see it at, yeah. so at some point, and um, you know, I can, I can picture that. Um, I'm not surprised based on your personality. Mm -hmm. So, um, you guys did an inaugural NFT collection that, is this right, it sold out in 100 seconds? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> And the floor price went up over 30 ETH, uh, or 30 times. 30 times, um, yeah. When, when was that? 
So in we, we held this sale on July 6th, 6th of July, about two months ago. Two oh months wow, ago. so this is actually yeah. in the bear market. Yeah, so, yeah. so that says a lot about um, you know what you're building. Congrats yes. on that. Thank you, thank you. Um, and uh, you got a new land sale coming up on September 30th, is that correct? Uh, so we'll be making an announcement to review the full details of our upcoming land sale. So, um, the, so the whole quarter four will be all about our upcoming land sale campaign. Yeah, and the community is excited about it. They are very hyped about it. Um, and and, and it's, it's actually tomorrow, 30th of September. We'll be giving the full review of how the game looks like, um, you know, the full details of the land review. All of them have been waiting for this moment, and it's one more day away. That's, yeah. that's, that's incredible. And, um, and it's an exciting week. There's a lot of action here in, 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 in Token 2049 with the Formula One race. So it's a great time <laughs> for, for something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, well, you know, this is going to air after the reveal. So does that mean that we can sort of get a little sneak peek of, of the game? Yeah, I mean, you, you'll be the first to see it, actually. <laughs> sure. All right, cool. So, so we're going um, to do a little screen clip from um, Lucas's phone. He's going to share, share uh, this with us, and, and then we'll sort of edit this into um, to the video. And I hope our listeners on the podcast go check out our YouTube video to to actually see a demo of the product and I'm going to I'm going to look uh, over his shoulder right now and check yeah. it out. So, so we uh, so yep. we started the broadcast? Yep, I've already started recording already. Yeah. Great. So, uh, basically what we are creating it's a metaverse world called a Nexus, Nexus world. Right. So Nexus world it's a world where it's an untouched world and where unique creatures uh, are exist called buddies, right? So we basically can travel around this thing called the overworld. And these are these are fun guys. Like they're they're kind of you know they're 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 cre- they're bigger sort of creatures. They could be like intimidating if you didn't know them. But when you kind of get to know them, you feel like oh, this guy's cool. Yep, yep, yep. So all this uh, every hexagons you see are all the plots of lands in our metaverse, right? So you can travel around the overworld. And if you, let's say you decided to land in this spot, all right, it'll bring you down, you know, to this as this this area. Right, so this is my avatar, right, and this is one of my buddy. And the graphics, by the way, are very vivid. Thank you, thank you. So, so this is uh, one of the sold out NFT that sold out in 100 seconds. So what we are trying to do is to create a utility of our NFTs, rather than just a profile picture purpose, right, you can actually buy the NFT and integrate it into the game. And what are some of the different traits of those NFTs? Like, like this one I'm looking at has has blue hair, uh, a cute tail, yeah. um, you know, uh, what, what are some of the differences among the creatures and the rarities? So, you know, uh, as an avid gamer for many, many, many years, right, okay, uh, one of the things that I spent a lot of money, guilty of spending money a lot on, is on aesthetics, right? So I play this game called Dota, right? Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, I spend, you know, guiltily spent over thousands of dollars buying uh, avatars, hats, and everything just to, just to have these bragging rights. So one of the aspects of it, right, is the, this uh, character here, Right, um, is only there's only one hundred in the world. Wow. Right. Okay. There will never be more. Right? This is a mythical creature called uh, Frostview Nessie. Right. So when having this NFT inside here, when you walk around the world, you know people will be able to see. Wow, you are one of the hundred Frostview Nessie owners. Right. That you can actually use it. Right. So we didn't want to make it uh, imbalanced such that when you have money, you buy this, you make it make the whole game imbalanced. We wanted to make it. Uh, it's free to play. Right? And more importantly, you, you, you cannot pay to win. Right? So that there's long term longevity of this game. So you can try, move around with it, you, know, you can move around the grass with it, and then you can explore the whole world around it. So one of the key objectives of this game is to capture what we call buddies. Right? You can see this buddy over here. All right, you can actually capture this lapis here. Right? So the objective so is to it's capture It's like them. a fun sort of net. Oh, he's, he, yeah. he has a net and he's... And, he's yep. So you want to capture them, okay? Uh, protect them, keep them under your care, and then work together with them to fight those uh, bosses, those threats that are threatening the world like that, right? You can move around, you can see around, and there, oh, there you can see, oh, okay, there's there's someone over there, somebody over there, right? So this is what we call a flume, a dif- different kind, a level five flume, which is going to be very hard to catch, but let me try it, <laughs> right? So oh, so well, the- you should be a pro. But no. Oh, all right, come <laughs> on! Oh no, come on, come on! Okay. All right. Ah. All right. Well, yeah. e- even the best baseball players swing and miss, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what? When you have all these buddies, right? Okay, you can actually prepare for them. 
okay, to go and fight uh, raids. And, and for example, this is one of the boss. So when, when, they, when they defeat these monsters, right, they can actually earn rewards. All right, and these rewards, they can actually spend not only within the game, but they can also spend and use within the real world. So, right? so when a book for travel holidays and stuff, and they can actually do it. Wow, okay? that's yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah. So, so you're doing um, partnerships with, with travel companies and, and brands. Brands, and, lifestyle, and every aspect of it. So we want to create utility of the tokens, not only in the virtual world, but also in the real world. Is there a specific brand that you can talk about? That you, no, not, yet, yet? not yet. <laughs> All right, that's fine. We'll, yeah. we'll have to have you back. And yeah. We'll get into more details. So, so one of the key aspects of uh, the objective is to kill this monster in under 60 seconds. Right, okay. Uh, the gameplay is very simple. Right, send your buddy out to go and fight. Okay, now uh, very similar to like Uno, right? When you call Uno cards, right? You will see, oh, there's a red card, you know, uh, and there's a shape. So the, the, the name of the game is to stack it. All right, so if you see, okay, the next one is a sun, red, you don't have it, then you switch it. And then you put red on star. All right, so that you can continue your combo. So the more you stack it, the more your combo you do, the more you can be able to defeat the monster and you can earn. Yeah, so this is uh, just a rough example of how to play it. Lucas was multitasking, yeah. talking while playing, so he didn't win that round, but I'm sure if you were fully focused, you would have defeated the monster <laughs> yeah. and got some cool travel trip to uh, Bali, right? Yeah. It's not that far from right. there. Yep. Well, that's pretty awesome. Yep. Um, Thank you. I'm excited. Uh, and your, your, your excitement about the game is, is very uh, enthusiastic. Thank you. Um, uh, so, so, so you got the big launch tomorrow, um, you got the land sale, um, you know, what's next? Where do you see all of this going and um, uh, how, uh, what platform is this built on? It's built on Polygon. Okay. Yeah, we'll be on Polygon chain. Um, so, so far it's pretty good, right? Um, Polygon has been um, quite seamless for us. It's fast, it's uh, transaction cost is low, right? Um, we are comfortable using it. Um, so what's coming next for us is we have been following and executing according to our roadmap uh, leading to our closed beta which is uh, quarter one of next year. So what you've seen is just only the alpha, the alpha version. I mean that's, that's a lot um, that you've built over that time and, and it, it takes a long time to build a great game. So yeah. clearly you put an A-team together. Okay, yeah, thank you. So uh, on top of this game, this is one of our only many of our metaverses that we are going to build. So because uh, on top of this, actually we'll be announcing tomorrow you know, that we are building something on top additional of this metaverse. So that we want to introduce interoperability of our NFTs across all the metaverses. So does that mean Decentraland and Crypto Voxels and Sandbox and those metaverses? We intend to be able to integrate with many of these metaverses. For example, the ones that you mentioned, right? Uh, so that um, we actually encourage the strong use case of NFTs. Yeah, um, and, and that, that's pretty, that's really what we envision how blockchain and NFT is supposed to be, you see? So, um, what does the metaverse even mean to you? Like, I, I mean, people ask me that question all the time. Yeah. So to, to me, right, I mean, metaverse, it's a very broad uh, definition, right? Uh, everybody have a different idea and opinion on it, right? It's just like technology is very broad, right? But to me, right, uh, metaverse, it's a virtual world, right? Where, you know, users can go into that world to interact with other players. They can create content. They can add value uh, to other players. Right, so that you know, it creates a whole economy on its own. Right, so think of it as the real world. That what we do here adds value to other players. You can also go into the virtual world to create, let's say, businesses. Right, create products and services, and interact with other players itself. So it, it becomes an economy on its own. Right. Yeah. And, and is there like a hardware component to this that you think is needed, or are you trying to go hardwareless, where all you need is your phone? Uh, all we need is the phone. Yeah, we want to make it as seamless as possible. Where yeah. you know, let's say you are in the real world, you are you're bored, you are you nothing, don't know what you want to do, right? You can actually enter into the metaverse, the virtual world itself, right? To 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 go there to interact. So because the beauty of metaverse, right, is not and, only the interaction. And earn, earn something. You while earn, you're, yeah. While and you're yeah, but the beauty of the metaverse, right, is the limitless imagination what players can do in the world, in that virtual world, as compared to the real world. And, you know, you mentioned earlier this is about sort of hanging out with your friends and your family. We, we saw, like, the, the one-person um, point of view, like, 
how is collaboration going to be possible within your game among folks that know each other? What can they do together that they can't do as individuals? Yeah. So uh, since our whole game, uh, our whole vision of the company is to bring people together, right? So we, we want to create uh, quests, activities, you know, mm. rates that requires uh, friends and family to do it together to amplify the earning rewards, right? So when you know that, okay, well, if I were to do it alone, I only earn this much. But if I were to do it with a friend and family, I earn this much. So, so it, it creates that kind of initiative among players to go and like, oh, well, come, let's go and do this together. So, so with, with, with this... We'll see uh, what families yeah. are functional versus dysfunctional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it bridges people of different generations together. No, yeah. I love that. Yeah. I, can, I can see like a, a world gaming convention for your game where all these families are on teams wearing their team, like yeah. family team shirts and everything like that. <laughs> yeah, so we have, a, we have some, a concept called the ultimate rate, the annual ultimate rate. So maybe that could happen also with, with what you envision also. <laughs> cool, we might have to have the finals at NFTLA uh, at some point. You know, we have a conference coming up March 20th through the 23rd. Mm. Um, we have a whole gaming track in Los Angeles. Uh, I'm sure folks would be really excited to learn more about what you're doing over there. Thank you, pretty exciting too. <laughs> well, um, thanks for spending a little bit of time with us. I know you're really busy, you got this big lunch tomorrow. If folks are interested in learning more about you and the project, uh, get involved in the community, what should they do? Uh, join our socials, right? Uh, all our socials across its affin, uh, official affin. A-F-F. A-F-F-Y-N. Y-N. Right? Uh, our website is affin.com, A-F-F-Y-N.com. So you can enjoy our socials, you can enjoy our website to actually look through our team, you know, our background and the vision of what we are trying to do. We have a very detailed 70 over pages website, uh, white paper, or you can look through our pitch deck that gives you a summarized version of what we do. We even have a video that gives you a summarized, uh, easily understandable concept of what we are doing. Very cool. Well, I'm going to be tracking uh, your progress and uh, excited about what you're doing for the space. Wish you the best with your lunch uh, tomorrow. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you. Thank you.